Hey y'all, thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope you guys have a most excellent day today. So today I want to talk about five reasons why I think you should join the furry fandom if you're not already a furry. And now this is aside from the, the, the obvious things like the cute fursuits and all that kind of stuff. I want to talk about what other things you might not have thought about or might not know about in the furry fandom that may be good reasons for you to join. So without further ado, let's kick this off with number five and that is the community. Let me tell you, the furry community is absolutely amazing. You will not find a bigger group of people with the similar interests out there who will be so awesome and amazing and so welcoming to you than the furry community. I mean, there's a lot of communities out there which may be for passing interests like 40k community or the train community or the, you know, the radio controlled doodad community. And there's plenty of communities out there, but none of them, I think, are as welcoming, uh, as embracing as the furry community. You put a furry profile picture on and you will get a torrent of friend requests. You will get loads of people wanting to talk to you. Okay, some of them may be a bit on the uh, weird side of things. You know, you get the occasional time waster who just wants to say, hi, how are you? And then says nothing ever again. We also get the really awesome in-depth conversations that some people really miss. You don't really get in regular communities out there. So yeah, definitely a big selling point for me. And one of the big things that you will get out of the furry community is the community itself. You will get loads of friends. You will meet people around the world and you will have fun with a common interest with them. And leading on from that, at number four is being the weird guy without being the weird guy. Now, in the furry community, you can be as eccentric as you like. You can have the craziest interests. You can like trains, you can like aeromorphs, you can like all sorts. And what would normally get you a funny look out in the regular world, in the furry community, you can be like, oh yeah, that's cool, I'm into that too. Or, yeah, I know some people who are into that kind of stuff. You can be the weird guy and have all of your weird interests without being the weird guy who gets stared at and stands out amongst the crowd. There will be other people in the furry community who have similar interests to you, no matter how crazy or weird they may be. And likewise, you may discover interests in the furry community that you never knew about before. I mean, since joining the furry community, I have stumbled across, you know, people who are really into their trains, that kind of stuff, and I've discovered that, hey, I like trains too. I mean, I, I always had a train set as a kid, but now I'm like, eh, you know, I wouldn't mind going on a steam train. That's pretty cool. You discover new things that you wouldn't normally encounter in the furry community just through the wide variety of people in here and all of the weird and wonderful interests that they have. And then on a related note, coming in number three is the furry community is so accepting of all sorts of people. Whether you're gay, trans, you know, identify non-binary, identify as an alien, no matter what, you will be accepted in the furry fandom. They are just that way. There are a few outliers, obviously, who, like, you know, maybe a bit homophobic, but they are a tiny minority, like less than 1% of 1%. The vast majority of furries out there are pro-LGBT, pro everything in that kind of vein. And no matter how you identify, there will be people welcoming you in. I mean, I identify as a straight male. It, it's who I am. They welcomed me in. There's people who identify as gay, non-binary, trans, the works, and they are all invited into the furry community because it is such a welcoming and amazing group who will not judge you at the door just because you have, you know, an unusual gender identity or something like that, or you have unusual interests. Now, obviously, there are limitations to this. We don't welcome pedos and we don't welcome zoophiles. Those two categories can fuck right off. Everyone else, you're welcome to join the furry fandom. And once you're in, you will discover one of the greatest things on the planet, one of my most amazing and awesome joys in life, and that is coming in at number two, a great and amazing, awesome thing called a furry convention. Now, in case you're unaware of what that is, a furry convention is where furries hire a hotel, usually a really nice hotel. It's never like a crappy Motel 6 or anything like that. It's really nice normally. You know, our local one can fuzzle, they hire a Hilton hotel. They take over the hotel. They fill it full of furry dealers, furry entertainers, furry this, furry that, furry bar stuff. And a few thousand furries descend on the hotel, take it over for a weekend and just have a great big party. 
or more likely in the case of most of us, a great big piss up. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It is a convention for furries to meet up and have a good time. And let me tell you, they are one of the most amazing experiences you will ever have as a furry because it's just, it's another world. There is furries everywhere. There's fursuiters everywhere. There's people drawing, there's people selling. There is all this amazing stuff going on. And let me tell you, the furry fandom has it down when it comes to conventions. I mean, anime and gaming conventions, they're fun, but they seem to be mostly about the dealership side of things, people selling it. And, you know, there's a bit for the cosplay and a bit for this and that, um, you know, meeting a couple of guests, but it seems to be mostly about selling shit. Whereas furry conventions, it's mostly about meeting people, chilling out, socialising, and getting pissed as far. So yeah, definitely one of the top things about being a furry that I enjoy so much is the furry conventions. Now before I go on to the final point about why I think you should become a furry, I would like to give a quick shout out to a couple of mates of mine, um, just to show my appreciation for these dudes and how much they mean to me. And the first one is my good buddy... Dr. GMG, Lord GMG over at GMG News, this dude is one of the top blokes out there. If you need someone to back you up, to back your corner, to help you out, to give you support, drop by Dr. GMG, that dude is a top-notch bloke. The next person I'd like to shout out is my good buddy Evan over at Short Arts, who did me this most amazing piece of art, which should be appearing on your screens right now. If it's not, shoot the editor. Oh wait, I'm the editor. Um, but yeah, he drew me this most amazing piece of artwork, and I am so grateful for him. Thank you so much, dude. Go check out Short Arts. He deserves so much more recognition. And the third person I'd like to shout out is my good buddy Lone Wolf, simply because he gave me a shout out in the video, and I figured, you know, return the favour. This dude, he's he's really putting out, he's getting streams and videos out there every single week. And this dude deserves more recognition as well. So go check out Lone Wolf Official. Again, links to all three people in the description below. So finally, we are going to hit the number one reason why I think you guys should become furries. And that is, you will discover new things about yourself in the furry fandom. Whether it's discovering that you can draw. Whether it's discovering that you can make fursuits. Whether it's discovering, you know, a new thing about yourself that you did not know before. The furry fandom is amazing for self-discovery. For people learning more about themselves. For learning more about other people around them. And generally, you know, progressing as a person. I mean, even if you only spend a couple of years in the furry fandom. The growth you get out of it is astounding. I've seen people join as you know timid noobs and 10 years later these people are like rocking it you know proper confident dudes because the furry fandom has helped them so much and even if you don't have a massive growth like that get things like fursuits help you become a more confident person you get more confident in fursuit and it does transfer out of fursuit so the furry fandom is great for personal growth and I think that is one of the most important reasons why you should join the furry fandom right now is because it may help you discover more about yourself become a better person and all that good stuff so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did drop a like subscribe smash that bell notification icon so you can see about more updates from me drop in the comments below any other reasons you think people should join the furry fandom other than that I hope you have the most excellent week and I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Take care, ta -ra.